Hi, this is Fred with Finale Inventory. Today I'm going to show you how to do an import of builds using a basic builds import spreadsheet. So let's look at the spreadsheet. At a minimum, we need four columns. The build ID, the product ID that we're producing on that build, the quantity of the product that we're producing, and the sublocation. So let's do a build ID, 10, 11, and 12. And then the product ID that we're going to produce. So I've already configured a few products on this account. We have three outfits. Each outfit uses a different colored shirt. So the black outfit, for example, uses the black shirt, but they all use the same pants and jacket. Okay, so let's go to the spreadsheet. And let's do outfit white, outfit black, and outfit red. And let's do the quantities. Let's do 50 of white, 75 of black, 85 of red. And lastly, the sublocation. So this account, I have main configured as my primary sublocation. So we're going to copy from this spreadsheet. And then we're going to go to View Builds in Finale, and then Import Builds. Here, we just paste. Double check to make sure our headers match the headers that Finale is expecting. And then we're going to start the import. Now Finale processes this on our server, and you'll be notified as soon as it's imported when this changes. So it just changed. So we're going to go to View Builds, and you can see it created all three of the builds. It starts it in draft status. So we can go to the build, and you can see it pulled in the bill of materials, the quantity corresponding to how many we're producing, and then the finished good in the location that we specified. Now you can either start the build, or you can start and complete the build. From this screen, we can also go to the Actions drop down menu and print the build order. This is helpful if you need to send off a document to the productions team. It shows what we're consuming, the quantities, and also what we're producing. If you'd also like, you can bulk import the status to batch complete or batch start orders. By doing that, we can go to our spreadsheet again, this time add an additional column of status, and we can do completed. And then when we copy all of that again, we go back to our build screen. We're going to import. We'll paste that here. And now Finale will automatically complete all of those builds that we've created as well. Okay, now we can see it is importing and it is finished. So we can go to View Builds. It's no longer listing here because we're only filtered to look at draft and started. We can clear that to see those three builds that we did. Let's open 10. And it is closed. It produced 50 of the finished good, consumed 50 of all of the components. If we go to our inventory view, you can see all the inventory numbers have changed according to how we did the build. And that is how you bulk import builds and change statuses using a spreadsheet. If there's anything else we can help with, please feel free to send an email to service at finaleinventory.com, and we would be happy to help. Thanks.